My dear Deltans, I wish to make further pronouncements in our continuing efforts to prevent the spread of the coronavirus disease in Delta State. In the exercise of the past conferred on me by the Delta State Public Health Law, CAP P21 Laws of Delta State 2006, and in particular, Section 8 of the Quarantine Act, CAP Q2 Laws of the Federation of Nigeria, having regard to the provisions of Sections 2, 3, and 4 of the Quarantine Act, and further pursuant to the Infectious Disease Emergency Prevention Regulation 2020, recently signed into law, and other enabling laws and powers in that regard, I hereby order as follows. One, with effect from Wednesday, April 1, 2020, movement of persons, goods, and services into, within, and out of all parts of Delta State are hereby stopped. All residents of the state, not an essential duty of providing essential services, are to stay home to further notice. The prohibition of the gathering of persons in the state for conferences, meetings, religious worship, festivals, private events, public visits, burials, weddings, traditional marriages, and other social events. The temporary closure of public places, such as event centers, bars, nightclubs, lounges, cinemas, markets, supermarkets, malls, shops, restaurants, and canteens. There shall be no street football or any other sporting activity on the streets or neighborhood during this emergency period. Food stalls, food stall sellers are permitted to conduct their businesses within the precinct of their homes and will be monitored to ensure they adhere strictly to the social distancing rules. Markets for only the sales of food items and water will be organized in designated primary or secondary schools in each local government area of the state. They will be coordinated and supervised by the local government council chairman and their teams to ensure compliance with the rules on social distancing in every village or town. Pursuant to the Infectious Disease Emergency Prevention Regulation 2020, it shall be an offense to inflate the prices of or hot food, drugs, and other essential goods and services within the state during this period of emergency. Anybody found in contravention of this order may have such essential goods seized or forfeited to the state as stipulated in the law. Exemptions. The restriction of movement does not apply to the following categories of persons. Those involved in the transportation of essential supplies, such as food, water, petroleum products, pharmaceutical products, medical and emergency supplies, or other essential supplies as may be declared by my office. Those involved in security, healthcare personnel, pharmacies are also to remain open. Those involved in water supply, fire services, power supply, essential departments of media houses, essential departments of telecom companies. Livestock farmers, poultry and pigry, and fish farmers are to be allowed into their farms. Banks are to remain open, but only for skeletal services. All persons that fall under the category of exemption must carry valid identification tags to ensure easy identification and smooth passage, as there will be increased security presence during this period. The state government solicits the support, patience, and cooperation of all residents in complying with these directives to enable us win this war. We are aware of the inconveniences these restrictions will bring, but we must realize that we are in an emergency. Life has no duplicate, and people have to be alive to be able to work or do business. So far, the only way to stop or contain 
the spread of this disease is to prevent further transmission. I'm also appealing to wealthy Nigerians, particularly Deltans, to support the government in the fight against the coronavirus pandemic. Those who wish to make financial donations can contact any of these persons. My humble self, the Secretary to the State Government, the Commissioners for Finance and Health. Deltans, are please, are please advised to call on the following numbers if somebody suddenly falls ill or develops symptoms associated with the coronavirus disease. 80 080-3123-0481. or 080-3123-0529. Finally, I urge us all to engage in the fervent prayer and intercession to God for him to speedily bring an end to this day. I thank all the elders and hope that we will comply with these various directives. And just as a further information, as of this evening, we have free samples being tested at the specialist hospital era. We are expecting results any moment from now. Deltans will be informed in due course about the outcome of those results. But I want to let our people know that there is the need for them to stay calm and not carry fake information. As at this moment, we do not have any confirmed case yet in Delta State. But we have free samples being tested and when the results are out today, we'll find a way to communicate all their times today or by tomorrow. I thank you and may God bless you all.